Hi Gemini, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Uh, as usual, for the month of November, I have a special sales offer available um, that it's inspired in the current Scorpio season we are on. And if you would like to know more details about it, you can read in the description box or you can email me with your questions. And if you'd like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Gemini, I do feel that the month of um, November is interesting. For some of you, it's like you're being freed from a huge burden that has been um, something you, you have been carrying for some of you for like the last 10 years, for others 10 months, depends obviously. You have been carrying serious weight, responsibilities, burdens, um, that you're about to be freed from, liberated from. Some of you, it's like uh, the universe is here intervening to help you get out of a situation, get out of a pile of problems that you don't need anymore. You're not learning from anything from it anymore. You're not uh, absorbing anything good from it anymore. So it's like it's time to drop it because it's actually preventing you from encountering other sorts of blessings that are waiting for you but it's almost like they have been pending there are blessings that want to come in in november that have been waiting and pending um waiting for this type of um problems to be dealt with to be to be solved they're waiting for you to get out of the the um you know the web that has been here um, created some of you um, you don't know yet or there's something you're about you don't knowing yet what awaits you but as you move then to the end of the month and more into December things are going to be brightened up quite a lot quite a lot like you're going to move from a grayish more dull energy into a very pink colorful one so you see that there's a huge bridge that it's about to be crossed for the majority of you where you're actually accessing something much better something that will bring beauty love romance socializing creativity creative expression creative work there's a lot blooming ahead and it feels like just as just as the amount of problems you're letting go of this will be replaced the same you know amount the same quantity of problems they will be replaced by blessings it's like a beautiful you know substitution that it's like you, you, a feeling of some of you have tasted sour now let me give you sweet let me give you lots of sweets and some some of you Gemini's this is something um, that it's um, well deserved. It's like you have been really through something complicated. I feel like um, for some of you there has been this path um, filled with obstacles. It's almost like a sensation of some of you being inside of a game and you had to move through levels and each level it would get you know more complicated more challenging weirder and you wouldn't know how to you couldn't go back because you were already uh, were at you know uh, a big level but you were also too tired to continue or too hopeless at times so to keep pushing until you find this moment in November where a solution really is presented, where an opportunity to really live and not just survive is presented, an, opportun an opportunity to indulge, to have fun, to have pleasure, to just do things for the sake 
of wanting to do them, not because you're forced or obliged to do them, this is going to really activate a wonderful, uh, beautiful energy in your spirit. It's like you, it's something about your your spirit is much more about this, is much more about the magic of life. It's much more about the beauty of life, acknowledging it, seeing it, recognizing it. Then where you have been in a very uh, analytical, careful, cautious, perhaps limited, you know, state. Maybe you didn't, it's like you didn't consciously cho uh, chose this, but you ended up in a um, circumstance, in a, in a phase in your life that really doesn't have anything to do with some of your essence, you know, who you are at a, at a soul level. So return to the good graces. There's something about that, the return of good graces. So it could be you feeling like you're returning to yourself again, to that free, bubbly, um, positive spirit you could feel like you're returning to the positive graces of someone or or um something that maybe hasn't been working well you're returning to the that good grace so again it could be love it could be work it could be finances returning to good graces returning to where it was negative now having the positive uh side manifested I feel like some of you are very, 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 very strong. And if there's something that this phase has brought, is that awareness that you're incredibly strong spiritually and physically. Something It's like something like maybe you didn't knew that you could do so much, you know, heavy work like you did. Some of you... Is the feeling like some of you have been living as if you were earth signs, not uh, you know air signs? Be meaning that earth signs is an energy that is much more about what I've said. They actually they enjoy responsibilities, they enjoy limitations, they enjoy you know heavy stuff, basically. And for some reason, you've been pushed to the earth element, and this was you know, a big maze of discovery because you needed you needed to learn out of nowhere, you know, all of the skills that don't belong naturally or didn't belong naturally to your essence. The positive thing here is that with it, you discovered again that you do have strength to do certain things that are now are going to be useful to your path ahead, but you don't need to be so involved in them anymore. That's my. That's the feeling here. Is like drop it, drop what you can. That doesn't serve you, you know. And it's there. There are things here that are that is not your responsibility. That it's not your. It's like it's not your place to do certain things that you have been doing or that you're still doing. Just delegate share um learn like learn to say no or um learn to discern in terms of time management what you can really do what you want really to do with it how you want to fit you know activities there because otherwise um the blessings are there but they're going to continue to be pending if you don't give access to the blessings, they can come in. November is also about that. It's about you giving access to positive energy to come in by creating space. And I do feel like your these blessings that are coming in are very much led by spirit, by higher forces. So it's like they're trying to push it. They're trying to make you see that there's um, something sweet that they want to offer you, like there's a treat that wants to be offered, that wants to be given to you, so, uh, but this, this treat is like your, 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 your eyes, 
are all completely, you know, the, your vision is completely obstructed by the piles of stuff that needs to be dropped. So you can't see the treat because of that. Because you're not giving, again, your eyes the room to see beyond the pile of problems and responsibilities. And it's also one of those months for some of you where you just need to stop and smell the flowers. It's just a moment like that, like stop a little bit and smell the flowers. You know, um, fall in love again with life, with yourself, with the person, with an idea. Uh, romanticize your, 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 your life a little bit. Why not? So I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.